Jordan Maxim definitely rubbed some people the wrong way with that Instagram post. He ruffled some feathers. He ruffled some feathers, Dale. I just wanted to say that. You just wanted to be in my video. Yeah. Well, now you are. And if you guys are interested in that, me and Sean Enox had a really long conversation, kind of like a hot take on it. Kind of trying to see both sides of the argument. And that is later in the video. But first, skateboarding. Yes, Kenny, I film that so good. That was all right. You forgot the rest of it. What? You forgot the rest of it. I know. You think it's wrong of me to snipe some day one footage? I think everybody does it. <laughs> Dude, live in person, ladies and gentlemen. So in case you guys were wondering what skateboarding looks like, uh, it looks like that. Sweet. You can get something on the way back probably? Yeah, let's go. That's sick. Oh, I thought you missed it. No, no, I got it. It was good. Sorry, I ruined your line. He's been here for 10 minutes. He wants to hit this king crail, this square king crail. Oh, almost for the sea, dude. Oh! Yeah, I think might need wax. You reckon? Down here at Harbor City. Sarge and special. That was easy. That was too easy for yeah. you. That was too easy for you. Yeah, I'm gonna do a front over on that quarter. You can see that backside flip, but it was a backside flip. <laughs> Easy, dude. Dude, almost first try. He got next tee. Oh, I was scared of that for no reason. <laughs> That's how it always is. Yeah.
Dude, that was it. <laughs> Yew! He's still going, he's still going. You just had to commit. That was so scary though, I don't know. That was like, you see, it looked really was. easy for you. Yeah, it, it looked easy. I'm with Sean Enox. My favorite man from a land down under. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I interesting topic, hot take. Jordan Maxim just posted this on Instagram. I'm going to put it up here on the screen so you guys can see it. Obviously, I'm not going to recite it word for word. But basically, what he said was like, if you're an aspiring pro skateboarder, you know, if you're, you're someone who's trying to make it, you're filming tricks in the streets, and y you're at a spot... He's basically saying, like, don't do an ABD trick for your video part. And he received a lot of backlash for that. A lot of a lot of skaters being like, dude, it's just skateboarding, relax, don't don't be gatekeeping, blah, 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 blah. And truth be told, I see both sides of the argument, right? Like, if you are trying to make it in the industry and you're working on a street part, yeah, you might want to take what he said into consideration. Like companies and tms they aren't going to want to see a street part of abd tricks they are going to want you to use your brain and get creative and do things that haven't been seen yet but if you're just skating or you know you're just filming for instagram or even this like as somebody who goes back and forth to california like my first few times even now coming out here and going to a spot that i see like in a video that i've seen like a trick go down there going to the spot and seeing it in person is like a whole different experience and yeah even though like that lip slide has already been done I just might want to film it and throw it up on my gram I think that there is a fine line there in, in what Jordan was saying like dude skateboarding is skateboarding there are no rules which is why skateboarding so cool right if you show up somewhere and you're like I want to kickflip this for me dude by all means go ahead and kickflip it your kickflip is gonna have a different style than the last dude that did it, and it'll have a different style than the next dude that does it. I don't think that because a trick has been done at a spot that that should discourage you from doing it anyway. But again, if you are trying to do something with your skating, yeah, man, it, at that point, it, it kind of does matter. At that point, it's not about gatekeeping. It's not about, you know, saying, oh, you can't do that trick there because it's ABD. At that point, it's more so like you're trying to leave a mark in skateboarding. And in order for you to do that... Going for new. You want to go You want to go for something new. Someone to be like, oh, I haven't seen that spot or that trick done there before. Yeah, or even just picking a new spot selection so that the tricks that you do just hasn't been seen on that spot. It's, it's more so about... If you're trying to leave a mark in skateboarding, you want to progress skateboarding. And we all know that skateboarding has progressed as a whole so much. Like, dude, just go heaps. on Inst Heaps. Dude, heaps. Just go on Instagram for 10 minutes. You will see some of the best skateboarding in the entire world. Or you'll become depressed. Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or you'll get really sad, right? <laughs> it's but But that's what it takes nowadays, in my opinion. You yeah. know, it's like... I think he he's getting ripped apart for posting that and it's like Jordan Maxim has a platform that is so big mm. It's like you you kind of are in that influencer stage You do got to be a little careful of how you yeah. word things, but I don't think he meant like You know, oh you you, you can't like do that two different ways. Yeah, yeah I don't think he meant like I don't think he was saying like oh don't don't do the trick at all because it's already been done I don't think that was it. I think he was literally saying like, you know, if you're somebody in skating who is trying to leave their mark you know so so maybe maybe let like, approach it with a fresh approach and a creative one and yeah like half i reckon half of skating at least for like trying to film street parts is like finding spots yeah it's like doing your research and finding spots that you think you would be like good at skating on to make like a cool clip i agree dude it's it's like a whole it's a whole thing, man. Like, putting work into a part is not easy. And when work is put into the part, it is noticed and the reward is given. That's all I'm going to say about it. I don't know if that's why everybody's uh, giving Jordan a hard time or if they are really thinking that he's in, like, a midlife crisis or whatever. But Wasn't he rapping? He is rapping, yeah. Yeah. 
You don't want me to start rapping. That'd be nah. scary. Nah, nah, I don't think so.